Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I'd like to show you guys a simple Blender tutorial on how you can take an object that has multiple parts, that requires multiple materials, and to assign multiple materials from within the same object without actually separating it into multiple objects. So if I go into edit mode here, you can see that uh, in this particular model I have this kind of frame piece and then the cylinders that are sticking through. It's supposed to be uh, something along the lines of a bicycle pedal. And uh, you can imagine, and uh, I am imagining, that in this particular object, we want these two different things to be at least two materials, if not more. So if you assign a material over here in the materials tab, you can do it pretty easily just by selecting something like Chrome. Uh, of course, you're not going to have these materials by default. You might have to make them yourself in the nodes editor, but we're not going to cover that much in this video. But when you just assign one material to your object, it applies to essentially everything there. So how do we get around that? How do we actually separate these parts without making it two separate objects? Is uh, Well, first off, we hit this plus button to add another material slot. And then with the second material, we would either create a brand new material in the nodes editor, or you can select from other materials that you already have inside of your file. So I'm going to select this painted metal yellow material. And now this object has two materials assigned, but only one material is actually showing on any of the mesh faces. So in order to work with this, in order to take, let's say, these cylinders and make it the painted metal yellow, we need to go into edit mode and you need to select the vertices and faces that you want. I'm going to do it the easy way by uh, hitting L uh, while hovering over the individual islands. That's a uh, mesh that is not directly connected to the other meshes. So these are all islands right here. They're just cylinders sticking through there. And then with that selected, assuming that's what you want to be the new material, you go back over to the material section, you click on the second material, and you hit assign. So now if we go back out to object mode, we can see that there are two materials clearly assigned on this object, the painted metal yellow that sticks through this object, and then the chrome material for everything else surrounding it. Now if you want to add more materials, you can do that just as easily. You would just hit plus, add a new material slot, and keep developing it, getting more complex as necessary. Now if you do have a material on one object and then a material on other, another object, and you join those together, the materials will combine. So you'll just have one complete list of materials, uh, assuming you do a control J join on the two objects. So don't worry if you do assign materials to one object that you later plan to combine. Um, but if you have one object ready to go and you want to have multiple materials, that's how you do it. That's how you add them in. So I've been Chris. I hope this tutorial for Blender has helped some of you guys out there. And I will see you guys in my future video content.